Alright, hey YouTube, this is Stairs 3 Tutorials, and this is my 10th tutorial on HTML programming and editing. Okay, like I said in the last tutorial, today I'm going to do radio buttons, and if I have time, I will do check boxes. And in the last tutorial, this is what we did. We created a form, which basically we did, and we put input boxes into the form. And so when we type form, it shows up as first name, then we put an input box of a t of a text type and the name of that box and the uh, we gave that name of we gave the name of the text box first name and then we broke it so we have a space and so they're not bundled up together in one line we broke it we broke the line and uh, and you know what I what I, I know what you're thinking why didn't we put this at the end of the other one and not have that there well uh, that because that's a shorter way of writing it and it's easier so whenever you want to just have one tag just put to break the line all you have to do is put br space slash and there you go there's a, a break line uh, tag and remember the input we do not have to put slash input because this line again it does it for us so we don't have to do it and in, in, um, this right here this code line indicates a text box so an input text box so all right now we're going to try to do radio we're going to do radio boxes so we can actually get rid of these you can get rid of those just by deleting them and then we're going to do an input then type of course we have to put type then uh, in quotations type radio and end your quotations then put name then you put equals um, I'm going to put gender and then end your quotation and then we have to put a value equals then we put male and then you put space slash that then male so basically what that does it basically puts the radio button uh, so you when you click it you can choose the uh, option of male so basically mail will be to the side of the input radio button so uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that right in, uh, after I'm finished so we're gonna put a break line BR space slash there we go we're gonna break the line up then we're gonna do another input so input then we're gonna do type again and always equals radio yeah I typed that right didn't I yeah okay uh, name equals again we're gonna say type the same name gender then value equals female then we will type in a slash end your tagline and put female next to it okay so what this is saying is basically we have an input type of, of the radio button and we name that um, radio button gender and the value that of this radio button will be male and so the, and the name of that radio button is also mail so when we see it it'll have mail next to the radio button and then we broke it then we broke it so they're not all next to each other and then we type in another uh, radio button type and we name that one the same one as this one as gender and the value of this one is female and then we broke it up with this line and then not broke it up sorry guys and then we just ended the tagline with these slashes and the name of this radio button will be female so all right, I've already got it saved, so I'm just gonna save it again. Then we're gonna go to View, Preview and Browser, Default, and here's what it does. These are your radio buttons, so you can only choose one of each. So I'm gonna choose a Mail, but um, I have no Submit button. Uh, the Submit button will come after tomorrow. After not tomorrow, after the next tutorial. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to save tomorrow, but it will come after the next tutorial, which will probably be check boxes because I'm probably running out of time, but um, I'm not sure. So basically we have male and female and here's the radio button. So basically when we hit this radio button, we have the input type of of radio button. So we got the radio button right there. And then when and then the value of that radio button is male. So when we hit this, we know, "Oh, you're a male." So, okay. And then when you hit, if you hit this one, it's like, "Oh, you're a female." Okay, whatever. And the name of this radio button is also male. So this is the option. This is basically the option title where you want to put it. What you want to put for the title of the radio button? Tech kind of really, but uh, this is what we'll, what it will be. So I'm gonna choose mail, but I have no submit button, which I'll probably tell you how to do soon, uh, probably in in, uh, in one or two tutorials from now. But um, 
Okay, let's go to Alley Code and show you the code again. So basically we have input and then type of radio. So what this tells it is, oh, you're a radio button, so let's make a radio button. And we're going to name your, this radio button of gender. So, and then we're going to have the value of male. So, oh, when you click me, you're a male. And then we just have the title of the radio button, which is male. And for this one, we have the input type of radio, of radio. So, oh, I'm a radio button, so I need to be a radio button. And then we have the same name as gender. So it knows that, oh, you're the same thing as the other one. So whatever. And then value equals female. So, oh, when you click me, I'm a, you're a female. So now I know what you are. <laughs> and then basically we just have the form, which basically is like the same, same thing as a body tag. But this time it's just a form so you can complete it or choose options in, in uh, input types and input uh, data. So uh, that's probably it for this tutorial. I'm going to do check boxes in the next one. And then after check boxes, we're going to do <coughs> uh, uh, submit buttons and probably action attributes. So, okay, now I want to tell you something about radio buttons. Radio buttons are used when you want the user to select one of limited number of choices. So basically you can only choose one or two, no, just one of the options that you have. And then um, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, no, I'm not, I'm going to leave it a surprise. I'm going to tell you what check boxes are in the next tutorial. So, all right, all right, guys, comment, rate, subscribe to my CS3 Tutorials account and Tutorial Studio. Uh, link is in the description also and at the bottom of the video somewhere. And also, my Twitter link is in the, in, in the description. Uh, and comment, rate, subscribe on my videos, guys. I'm almost at 50, so, or if you're watching this a while from now, I already have 50. So, yeah. All right, so I'll see you guys later, and we'll get continued in the next tutorial. All right, guys, see you later.